ahead of Manchester United's first pre-season friendly of the summer. They are playing Liverpool. Eric Ten Hag has dropped a bombshell. Harry Maguire will be remaining captain. Joining me to explore this revelation is the one, the only, Ade Oladipo. Ade, an honour as always to welcome you onto this channel, but this is serious. Mm. I thought that Eric Ten Hag was going to be a new beginning for Manchester United, a new start, an yeah. end of a chapter and onwards and upwards. Yeah. This is surprising, isn't it? Yes and no. I guess we need to explore A, why he's captain and B, who the other options are really in it and it's Finn. I do wonder if the Ronaldo situation hadn't happened, Ronaldo not going on tour with them, Ronaldo saying he wants to leave the club, you do wonder if that was the option right there, give Ronaldo the captaincy, as a lot of people maybe asked for. But they're Finn, they're Finn. I don't know if you saw this, uh, Bruno Fernandes was on the private jet and he was doing like the kind of behind the scenes thing and he was going from player to player. And I can't lie to you, it was the first time looking at that United squad thinking, where are the superstars? Like he was literally going down the line, hey, Scott McTominay, yeah, yeah. Fred, Martial, Rashford, oh, Martial, you're going to get the goals? And Martial's yeah. like, yeah, you're going to assist me. And it was weak. It literally was no one there. So as much as we say, you know, it's a revelation and it's, it's bad, Maguire, the only other real option is the hell. No, but I would say that with regard to Maguire, right, let's say that we agree that there aren't many other options. That doesn't mean that you proceed with an option that is wrong. Mm. Simply not having other options doesn't mean that you persevere with an incorrect option. It's similar to the way I feel about Gareth Southgate. Yeah. You know, people go, well, if not Southgate, who? Yeah. I don't care who. Because mm. what I know about Gareth Southgate is he is not good enough. Mm. Someone else might be. Mm. What I know about Harry Maguire is he is not good enough to captain that club. Not good enough as a, what, as a footballer or as a, captain, as a leader. No. I'm not saying that he isn't good enough to play for the club. I yeah. don't necessarily think he is good enough. Yeah. I probably would have him out of that club if I were involved. And if I were a United fan, I think I would want Harry Maguire to find a new challenge. Mm. But that isn't this conversation. This conversation is specific to captaincy. And I think that the weight of the captain's armband mm. hugely weighs Harry Maguire down. I think he could be a better player for them without that armband. I think the armband can be inspiring or it can be just, nullifying. Yeah, as you say, a weight on his shoulders that he can't carry. He can just about carry the fact that he plays for Man United. Exactly. exactly. Let alone, okay, I am the leader of this institution yes. that is considered the biggest club in world football. Um, you know, we've. I think me and you said this a lot about Man United. We need to kind of sort of realign our brains to where we think United are. Mm. When we think of captains of old, obviously everyone just mentions Roy Keane and that's the kind of level they had. And the, level, the amount of other leaders that Roy Keane had to choose from in that squad. You look at the team right now, you look at United right now, they're not that team of 10, 15, 20 years ago. Again, you go through it and as much as I don't think Maguire is captain quality, I look and I think, okay, who is the obvious captain quality then in that squad? Who is the obvious, you're starting, you're guaranteed, Rashford? He's not guaranteed to start. It, you're talking about a weight on the shoulders. Imagine Rashford as captain. No, Rashford's not the answer. Rashford's not the answer. So I There's th two I others. There's only on. two. Bruno and De Gea. They're the only two options. People might say Varane, for me, Varane won't even start next season, if I'm honest, if they bring in another defender. But to me, the only two options are De Gea and Bruno, and I can understand why most people think it should be De Gea. And I think you touched on it earlier. I, I, I know it looks like he's going to leave, but if Cristiano Ronaldo stays, Ronaldo is also captain material. He's not captain in the way that Manchester United captains are known as being captains. Yeah. You know, he's not Steve Bruce. He's mm. not Brian Robson. He's yeah. not Roy Keane. No. But he's a captain by example. Mm. You can do that, can't yeah, you? I am the leader of this look club. At, look at me. Yeah. Look at the way that I play. Look at the way I've graced the game mm. and elevate your performances to be like me. A captain by example. Yeah, you get some captains that are not vocal captains like Steven Gerrard at the time when he got given the captain's own band by Gerard Julia it was hippier yeah. and Steven Gerrard was looking about talking about leaving and they gave it to a young Steven Gerrard 23 at the time he was never the most vocalist no. the vocal was Carragher everyone said yeah. Carragher was really the captain on the pitch he's the one that screamed and shouted but Steven Gerrard led by example in terms of look at what I'm doing yeah. look at the yeah. runs I'm making look at the yeah. goals I'm scoring and that's similar to Ronaldo he's not going to be vocal although he can be but it's a case of look at me yeah I am, look at the trophy cabinet. I am the leader. Is he the captain of Portugal, Ronaldo, or is it Pepe? I'm unsure. Yeah, I'm man, unsure. I think he but, he, no, he must be the captain of Portugal. But he he can help elevate other performances, Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo. But look, he could be leaving, so I understand why yeah, that's so a difficult one. But I would have thought that if Ten Hag had had a conversation with Ronaldo 
before the revelations that he met yeah. with Todd Bowley, before the revelations that he wanted to leave mm. and say, look, you are going to be Manchester United captain for an entire season. Mm. We're effectively going to build a season around you. Mm. Maybe then they're not in this predicament. Maybe then he doesn't want to leave. What does it do to Maguire? Do you not care? What does it do to him mentally to be stripped of the captain's armband? I think it could, if you did it correctly. It no, it could. It okay. could. Look, I think, I think you're on something. There are two ways and we should look at both. Taking the captain's armband is a statement that could be received in a really detrimental way for your future career. If you position it like that, if you use the terminology that you just did, for example. Okay. Stripped of the captaincy. It's mm. aggressive. Mm. But if you relieve the pressure of the mm. captain's armband, if you give the captain's armband to a player like Cristiano Ronaldo, there's no, there's no shame in losing a captain's armband to Ronaldo. Yeah. There's no shame in handing it over to Ronaldo. Yeah. And I think it could do Maguire a favour because Maguire must be looking around that dressing room and seeing Cristiano Ronaldo there and thinking, bro, I'm not your captain. I'm mm. obviously not your captain. It's imposter syndrome. Does he see that if Ronaldo's not there, does he look around the dressing room and look at Bruno, look at De Gea, look at who's been there long, Luke Shaw? No. Does he, he doesn't, does he? No. So maybe, again, so maybe it's because of Ronaldo not being there. Well, all the uncertainty. and uh, you, Look, you need to say who the captain is now. And there's a massive cloud over this Ronaldo situation. He looks like he... A, he doesn't want to be there. You can't give the captain's armband to someone that doesn't want to be there. We know Maguire does. Mm. This for him is like literally, this is everything, isn't it? You know, captain in Manchester United. I think it breaks him just because although Ten Hag will have the conversation around, you know, I just want to relieve you of it. You're still, you know, you're still one of my first choice centre-backs. You're going to be playing 50, 60 games a season. But the headlines will all say stripped. Mm. Like we see it tomorrow De Gea, new captain of United. No one's going to say, oh, we've just relieved Maguire of the captaincy. No, I mean, you've been stripped. And that, I think, will break him mentally. I think that will be the press narrative. But the press narrative doesn't need to be the dressing room narrative. Yeah, but <laughs> mentally, social media narrative as well. It I will mean, definitely everyone be goes the, on social media. Did you see media. Gary Neville on social media? What? He was... He, he backs a decision to give it to Maguire, but he also called Manchester United fans bullies. He basically said something along the lines of, now all you Manchester United fans who are bullying Harry Maguire. Mm. Like, hang on a minute. What are you talking about? Mm. That isn't bullying. Mm. Having an opinion that is different yeah. to yours. And it's a valid and by the way, it's a valid opinion. It's I mean, totally look, valid. Maguire shouldn't be playing for United. And this is probably again us going back a few years remembering the centre backs mm. that they had. You know, even though even the ones that were reserve centre backs, like your Ronnie Johnsons. Yeah, there's so John much. Better, yeah, so much Do you know what I mean? Your Wes Browns, the like ones that weren't guaranteed to start were way better than so Maguire. Much better than so Maguire. that's the why we look at Maguire. So we're not bullying him. We but just I also remembering. think it's the conduct of yeah. Maguire. Yeah, let's but, not forget what happened in Mykonos. Yeah. Remember but, that? But, but, Addy, we could we could say to three different people, like when I said the conduct, you picked Mykonos. Yeah. And you're completely correct. Mm. That's an example. I think that the way that he's conducted himself playing for Manchester United, some of the press conferences mm. and interviews that he's given, the way that he he uh, scored that goal for England against San Marino, yeah, fingers done, in done, done, the, done the knee slide. You are not a captain. Yeah. That isn't how a captain behaves. Yeah. That isn't the mentality of a captain. And when you think of, when you think of captain's armbands in world football. Yeah. Even, let's, let's just go a few miles down, what is it? The M M6, I think, is Liverpool. M62. M62. I'm good apologies. at motorways. Are you good at Yeah, yeah. M62. Down a few miles to the M62 and look at Jordan Henderson. Yeah, that's, I mean, a that's a captain. That's a captain. That's a captain. That's a captain. And that's a guy that, you know, is fighting for his place. Never that's moans. Never. No, you know, sometimes not in the match day 11, sometimes out of it. Everyone's talking about Virgil van Dijk being the real captain. Mm. Get some of it. Get some of yeah, it. Yeah, and he's a very selfless player. Very he, selfless. He never does the fingers in ears, I can't hear the critics, None bring on it. the haters like I'm Kim Kardashian. Yeah, yeah. He's not that. No. He's selfless. He allows others to flourish. He mm. puts the limelight on Trent Alexander-Arnold. Mm. He fills in for him. Unless you're playing with him, you probably don't realise quite how good and he is. And let's also be honest about the amount of critique he gets in terms of his playing ability. People don't like people him. People don't like Henderson. People don't people rate him. People think he's not good enough. People don't rate this. him. Yeah, people do not rate Henderson. Like, every time I try and argue for him, yeah. you argue for him as well. People, So he hears all that. But again, you never see a nah, hey, scores or ne no, you know no. nothing, no. nothing, and that's what Maguire needs to learn. But Maguire's not a captain. That's why mm. he isn't a captain. He's he, look. I don't necessarily think he's the level of footballer that some say. Mm. Like you know, when he was at Leicester, people said, "Oh, he should should have stayed at Leicester." And Leicester finished mid-table last yeah, year. Yeah, that's yeah, his. Yeah. I don't think he's that. Mm. I think he's better than that. I actually don't. No, I know you don't. I don't. I, I, don't, I think that's interesting yeah, as well. I don't at all. What What yeah. do you think then, Leicester? Yeah, mid-table, mid-table mid footballer yeah. for a mid-table. Is mid he a better defender than Kurt Zuma? Do you think? No. It's not easy. It's not better defender not than better Kurt, Kurt Zuma. And Kurt Zuma, I think we've now seen with his performances, like minus kicking a cat, we've seen his performances at West Ham, quality. 
Like, Kurt Zuma's a Champions League footballer. Yeah, like, yeah. Remember, yeah. Maguire's a 70, what is he, four million pound centre back. Yeah, no, but I'd say the. I'd say that Ogbonna at West Ham is better mm. than Maguire as well. Yeah. Is he better? I mean, we're, we're going really low now. Are you going to go for the third West Ham centre? No, no, no. I'm not okay, even going yeah. there. Is he better than Tarkovsky? I'm, I'm, I, I genuinely, I I'm asking a question. I don't know. I think he's. Yeah. I, I the fact think that I'm saying between. I don't know, and I guess some United fans will say, oh, "Of course he is, Adam. Don't be stupid." The fact that I'm even suggesting I do not know if he's that much better, and we're talking about a guy I know he's at Everton now, but he's gone from Burnley to Everton. That should not be United. Yeah. Player. Well, what it should be, be. Look, I think that you can take players from certain clubs and you can make them and make them work for you. When the, yeah. when the ability isn't through the roof, you yeah. can make it work for you. Mm. But what you can't do is make that player the captain of the club, particularly at Manchester United, because I don't think there is a captain's armband in world football that is heavier than the Manchester United captain. It's, it's a big one, just because of who had it for Mate, the previous years. incumbents, man. Yeah, it's the problem. The previous wearers. That's the problem. It's gone from what? Steve Bruce, yeah. who, regardless of what people think of him now, we were, we know, player. Yeah. Proper, absolute, oh, yeah, mate, complete player. There might player. be some young, you know... Yeah, you think of him only as the manager think, that yeah, was a yeah, bit yeah. pitiful. Yeah. Steve Bruce was ridiculous. Wicked. Steve Bruce was ridiculous. A warrior. Man. Oh, when you oh. think that Palace to Bruce combination. And it's crazy to think that he, I think he didn't even get a cap for England. A warrior. Steve Bruce, which is crazy. Who had it prior to Maguire? Do you remember who, who Maguire obviously only got it last season? Who had they, it? Before they went that? through a weird run. Well, did Bruno have it for a little while? I think Bruno has had it. Yeah. Wait, wasn't Ashley Young captain for them for a year? He might have been. I think Ashley he Young was, been, you, know, you know, which isn't captain before he went to Inter either. Milan. Yeah. I know Carrick was captain, but I think De Gea must have had it. De Gea must have had it. I think he's probably had it intermittently, mm. but I don't think he's ever been anointed club captain. That's I don't the think problem, he's been, isn't it? I don't think he's it's been like a hot captain. potato. No one's <laughs> done enough. To warrant it, and no one can carry the weight of it. You are correct, but I've got, let's let's have a look at you saying Maguire shouldn't be captain's one thing. Mm. Who should be then? That's all. It's all well and good saying you know someone mm. shouldn't be captain. Who are the options? What are the options? But but what I would say here is, mm. and this is what I was just kind of alluding to before. We know that Maguire isn't right for it. Mm. Therefore, it doesn't matter who, because not him. Because look, I don't think Luke Shaw's captain. I don't think he's captain material. I don't think he's particularly yeah. good footballer. I don't really like yeah. him. He might be better. Is this the big problem then with that club? You know, everyone talks about leaders, and not, not, you don't don't always need leaders to win the title, but you, it helps. I think what you could do is you could try and inspire. Yeah. Do you know when? Do you remember when Wayne Rooney was made Manchester United captain? Yeah, and it was an inspirational one. It was yeah. like you are now our leader. Yeah. Watch him. Yeah, watch the. Work I need ethic. you yeah, yeah. to raise your game to to this armband. You mm. need to become the the owner of this yeah. in the way that. Maybe the best captain they've ever had, so maybe, Brian Robson. May, maybe it is then. If, if you're saying it like that... Maybe it is Maybe Rashford. it's Bruno. Maybe it is Bruno. I think, I think maybe it's Bruno. As much we as I don't you, like bro. The, the point in yeah. that stuff, it's like, Bruno, remember when you came and you was on that 18-month run and you were fantastic and everyone was saying you, you're you better than Kevin De Bruyne, whether or not mm. it's true or not. People are making the comparison. We need that again. Yeah, we need you. We need and that we again. we need you to elevate your performances mm. to represent this armband yeah. in the way that... Those that have gone before you. Yeah. Eric Cantona was captain. Yeah. We need you to be our captain. We need you to be our captain. So I think that's yeah. a potential one I for Ten Hag to have done. One. Yeah. That's a potential one. But then Harry Maguire's not good enough. So I give it to Varane. Yeah. I don't know if Varane's good enough, but I know that Maguire's not. What shocks me about the Maguire one, and him, I say, giving it to Maguire now tells United fans that Maguire will start next season. He's now. Yeah, he's the It's going to be him and Varane. Totally. Possibly, yeah. Maybe not, but yeah. he's definitely him. He's definitely him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you think we're, we're harsh on Maguire in the sense that Varane was supposed to come and almost, I wouldn't say hold his hand because, you know, Maguire costs so much, but Varane was, Varane was the Van Dyke, wasn't he? Yeah. Everyone was saying, you know, Rolls Royce Van Dyke. What do they call him? Champions League. Champions what's, League. Champions yeah. League Varane. And he did nothing. And you wonder... Maguire maybe looked at him and thought, I thought you're supposed to be better than this, mate. Yeah. Like maybe uh, I needed your help a bit. Like you you were supposed to help me. I didn't really get much help from you. Yeah, I think there's a truth in that. Yeah. I think there's a truth in, in that. But I think maybe that's also to do with the system. Because mm. we know that Varane's a good player. Yeah. Don't we? Do we? Do we? Well, we kind of do. Do we? I think we do. I mean... I have not seen it. I haven't either. Not in this league. But I also think that... I think that Ralph Rangnick was possibly the worst Manchester United manager that we've ever seen. Yeah. Like ever, yeah, yeah, like yeah. worse than Moyes, worse than any Manchester United yeah, manager well, that we've ever agreed. seen, and therefore, Definitely maybe it's maybe the second worst manager that we've seen mm. was Solskjaer. Mm. So maybe it's slightly unjust to, to good judge. Shout. Good shout, but but mean. now it's not because you know that's a very very good point you've made there. A lot of these players, look, some of them were there with Mourinho and Van Gaal, but a lot of these players are from those two managers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, little time. 
and they're crap, both of those managers. <laughs> they, I mean, both of them are crap. Yeah, they're terrible. Yeah. That Ralph Rangnick's bloody whatever he was and, mm. you know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not going to get a, man- a job mm. in the championship. Um, so maybe we should judge those players on when they have a top, top manager. I don't know if Ten Hag's that, by the way. No, but, but he is now the chosen. He is now the, like... You're the guy. Like, yeah, Solskjaer got it for various reasons. Rangnick got it for various reasons. Ten Hag has been selected. Mm. This isn't this isn't like you played for the club and you were good and you're good for team dressing room harmony, yeah. so you got the job. Or you're going to move upstairs and therefore you can... No. St- this isn't that. Yeah. This is, you are our guy. We have gone and we have found you mm. and we've had other options. Yeah, I don't know. They could have probably got Pochettino if they wanted, but mm. they have chosen Ten Hag. Mm. So now, not only do we have to judge Ten Hag by a fairly harsh yardstick, yeah. give him a year, but after yeah. that, it's cards on the table. Mm-hmm. Now the ma- now the players now the players are judged. Yeah. yeah, now the players get judged. And I think, but, but I, I think he's got this one wrong. To be to be, if we're going to be that harsh, if we're going to be that harsh and make our feelings known regarding Ten Hag this early, this is I, you wrong know, for I me. do wonder about foreign managers and so we we love a captain over here, don't we? Yeah. Now, everything, everything's about the captain of the yeah. club, the leader of the club. I don't know if foreign managers view it like that sometimes. No, but they, remember, remember when they spoke about Klopp and sort of, it, there was a lot of talk about Virgil van Dijk being captain. Like, you know, he's going he's to yeah. give it to Virgil. He's going to start with Henderson. It was like, mm. and I, but I, isn't that an indicator that he cares? Because otherwise you could give a symbolic, yeah. a symbolic captaincy to van Dijk, whereas mm. he actually wants Henderson. Yeah. Van Dijk yeah. starts more than Henderson. Yeah, no, he's guaranteed. Yeah, to start guaranteed. Every, yeah, every time. Yeah, although yeah. Henderson plays an awful lot of football. He does. He does. Defense. He does. But um, but no, I think I think that they, I think that they, I think a, a captain is, is terribly important. Mm. I think most, if you look at Liverpool's success, captain? it doesn't happen without Henderson. Who's captain of City? De Bruyne. Is it De Bruyne? Is it De Bruyne? Yeah, De Bruyne. Okay, it's De Bruyne. Okay, I cool. mean, they they had that, they had that kind of. I think it was Fernandinho for a while. Fernandinho he, company, yeah. company yeah, yeah. Fernandinho. Yeah. Um, they just don't seem to be the captains of old. I don't know what it is. Henderson's about a captain of Henderson's old. Henderson's captain of Henderson, old. Henderson barks. And shouts. I even think when Milner comes on, he's the captain yeah. of old. Henderson yeah. is a hateful footballer. Who's your captain, Chelsea? We we're struggling. Yeah. We, we haven't got we haven't got that guy. I mean, yeah. I believe it will be Mount at some point. Mm. I believe it will be Mount. But yeah. you see, I, th- I like the idea of Kante as a yeah. leader by example. Yeah. You know. Again, it's not the same, is it? No, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not John Terry, is it? No, no, it's not. It's not Frank Lampard. No, it's not. It's not Branislav Ivanovic, Ashley Cole, Michael those. Balak, Michael Essien, Paul those, McAuley. It? It's weird. You know when we had a team of captains? Yes. And that's what success is, I yeah. think. Success can often be boiled down to how many captains you've got in your team. Yeah, and again, I don't want to put this, it's not a Liverpool topic, but again, I look at that Liverpool side and there's captains all over the place. Most had as a captain of Egypt. Naby I think, is the captain of Guinea. Virgil van Dijk is the captain of, uh, of would the Netherlands. Would Mane have been captain? No, it is I think it's Kulabali. He's he's captain. But he's captain material. He's elite. Yeah. So there's so many all over. Yeah. Andy Robertson's captain of Scotland. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So literally, if it isn't Jordan, yeah. there's literally eight others yeah. that are ready to. Matip's captain material. There you go. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So many players. Yeah. Fabinho, Henderson, yeah. like people that you and don't. It, like if Fabinho was given, Fabinho is probably seventh or eighth choice to be Liverpool captain. Yeah. He would be Man United's first choice. The way he just plays, the leadership. Oh, he'd be the best him. player at that club. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he would be the best player at that club. But then you see, I made a, a fairly sweeping statement that got me in trouble um, recently on TalkSport where I said that son, Sterling, Chelsea have signed Sterling. Mm. Sterling comes into Chelsea and becomes the best player in the club. Everyone went mental. But it's only it's only it's Kante Thiago, or him. It's Thiago. Yeah, Thiago, Thiago Kante or Sterling. But yeah. for me to say Sterling lands and becomes the best footballer, it's that's not, not that outrageous. wild, is it? It's outrageous. Well, I mean, it's, going, it's not outrageous at all. But we digress. We digress. This has well, been no, no, interesting. Very, very, very quickly, just before we wrap. So who would you want as Man United captain? I know this is different because we don't support United and it would be good to get I like your Fernandez one. Flexes. Fernandez is a good one, isn't it? I like your Fernandez one because I think it can be inspiring. Right. Yeah. Think of the players that have worn this armband. Mm. Think about Wayne Rooney. Think about what he achieved. Think mm. about Eric Cantona. Think about what he achieved. Think about Brian Robson. Think about what he represents. Mm. And think about Roy Keane. Do you want to wear this, Bruno? Mm. And if you do... He will say yes. Elevate. He'll take it. Honestly, he, he, he would he would I like. Mean, he could then have the season of his life. He needs that. He needs. He just needs the same season that he had when he first came. Those eighteen months. Yeah. The the six months when they got him in January and everyone was like, Ooh, this is incredible." Yeah. And then that next season after that, even last season, I look at his stats and I, like, I hate just being a stat person, but no, no, got ten goals. Bad in Prem. season. Ten goals in the Prem last season. Don't care. Ten goals Don't from a midfielder ain't shabby. No, it's not shabby, it but shabby, it's not the mate. standard. It's not. No, the... it's not the standard. Yeah, normal who, season. Who would be your shout, for Bruno? Bruno or De Gea? Yeah, I think. I think right. De Gea right now is. Well, he's one of their very few stand-up He's been there 11 last year. years. He's brilliant for He's been there year. 11 years, mm, the hell. Maybe he deserves 11 it. 11 years. He's, he's captain. He's probably, he's probably thinking, 
Maguire came a season and got the armband. Just a keeper. A keeper's not... I don't really like Inspirational. it. Inspirational? I don't really like it really as a keeper, though, to be on the pitch. I feel like it's a centre-half central midfielder. That's yeah, no, my... I know what you mean. For me, it's centre-half centre midfielder. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm not a fan of Harry Kane being the England captain. Yeah, I Doesn't agree. Doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, yeah I agree. On a midfielder. This has been brilliant. Mr. Oladipo, thank, thank you, you much, so sir. much. A wonderful contribution as ever. Make sure that you subscribe to Adi Oladipo's channel. There is some wonderful content going on over there. The link to it is in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it right now. Drop a like. It massively helps us out. And we will see you all on the next video. Peace out, A-Town.